my goal for this makeup look was so I could kind of look like I'd be ready to kill someone. I think I'm halfway there. But that really clashes with the fact that I have like a ton of Cheeto crumbs on my shirt, so um, I'm honestly harmless. <laughs> Anywho, today I'm gonna do my July book haul. I'm actually pretty proud of myself because I told myself I would not buy very many books in July and this was less than I thought there was gonna be so this might be considered a lot to some people but for me I think it's much better than like 20 or 30 books a month so I'm finally slowing down hopefully it'll stay that way for a while. So I'm gonna talk about a couple books that I got at a local bookstore I just recently volunteer started volunteering at and these were all like I think a dollar twenty five so the first one I'm going to talk about is in German. It's called Sam's Wall, which is Sam's whale, and you can see a dead whale on the beach, which is horrific. But I'm really trying to just get better at German, trying to keep myself fresh over the summer, and I honestly don't even mind writing in this, so I've been writing in translations. And it seems it's just going to be a quick read for me to just sit down and like acquaint myself with German prose. Speaking of German prose, I also got a collection of contemporary German prose, and this is more of a like workbook kind of thing because it has articles than questions and again just something to get me familiar with the German language. The last thing I got from that bookstore is the Faultmeyer Stars movie cover and this again was $1.25 in perfect condition so honestly I have no reason to buy this. It's not like I haven't read the book before or anything. Please see this through my perspective. You can't just like pass this up. So yeah, I already own the hardcover version, but it was kind of necessary for that price. And it's it's cute. I mean, I didn't enjoy the movie a whole lot, but come on. So I got a couple books in the mail from some people, so I'm going to talk about those next. Someone on Twitter told me that they have a book that's on my Amazon wish list that they could send me, which is great. And I was like, ah, thank you. So um, that book is Hereafter by Tara Hudson. This has just seemed so cool to me ever since I read the description of it. It's about a girl named Amelia who is dead and she like lingers in this one place and a boy comes and I really have no clue <laughs> what the extent of her ghostliness is but it sounds so cool and the reason I have heard about this book so often is that Tara Hudson always comes to my area for book signings and I've never actually had her sign this book for me so um, I really want to read this and hopefully if she ever comes back which I'm assuming she will because she's always in Texas like twice a year then I will have her sign this and be like finally I have it and then she was so kind she included another book in that package and this book is Cold Kiss by Amy Garvey I have no clue what this book is about. I've seen it online around but never really looked it up or anything like that. Um, apparently, I'm just gonna read the like one sentence tagline. It was a beautiful warm summer day and then Danny died. So Cold Kiss kind of <laughs> makes it sound like a zombie book but I know it's probably not. But either way, I'm thinking paranormal. If you've read this book, let me know. And then one more thing that I got in the mail, my really good friend Zoe from Red by Zoe just did an unhaul and I saw her unhaul this and I immediately was like, I will trade you anything for this book. And she sent me I Heart You, You Want Me by Lisa Schroeder, new favorite author, Lisa Schroeder. She is so good. I read this like two days after I got it for book two with Han and um, I can count on one hand how many pages of this I didn't cry during. Lisa just is amazing and I love books written in verse like this because they're short and to the point and they only take me like an hour or two to read but it's still packed of like emotion and feelings and plot and it's so good and this book is about a girl whose boyfriend dies and she's kind of coping with losing him. Toward the beginning of this month I got a message from a girl named Margo and she was like hey I'm coming to Dallas soon and um, do you want to meet up? And I've been watching this girl's channel for a couple of weeks and she is so funny and nice and so I was like, duh, book shopping. So we ended up meeting there and I got a handful of books. But really quick mini shout out to Margot. She 
is the bomb.com. She is so nice and we were like on the same level just fangirling talking about books we liked and she was so much fun to hang out with. She has really great videos too so I'm telling you when you're done with this video, actually don't even finish this video, just go watch her channel. She's so amazing. The first book I got there was Landline by Rainbow Rowell which is her new book you've probably heard everything about because people got arcs of it and at BEA there were audiobooks or something. I actually literally don't know what this is about. Something about she gets a phone call from her past self. That's all I know about it. But Margot did tell me like two days after we met that she finished it and she really liked it. And the next book I got is another Lisa Schroeder book and that is Chasing Brooklyn. Again, I'm not completely sure what this is about. It's heartbreak, boyfriends, all that different kind of stuff. It is written in verse like her other books. I just saw this on the back and I'm not sure if that's a blood stain or if that's supposed to be there. I'm starting to think more and more that it's not supposed to be either. So this could have been a murder weapon in its past life and I'm kind of worried now. The next book I got is a middle grade book and that is Counting by Sevens by Holly Goldberg Sloan. This is a horrible haul because half the things I bought, I don't know what they're about. Yeah, I haven't seen this anywhere for cheap and I saw it there and I was like, well, this is like a bestseller. People like this book. Why the heck he not? Next, I got a sequel to a book I read forever ago and that book was, oh, I can reach it. The False Prince and its sequel is The Runaway King. I cannot talk a smidgen about this because everything changes from this book to this book and so it's like spoilers everywhere but this book is about a kid named uh, 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 Sage and Sage is an orphan and the king something happens to the prince and so the king is like hey hey we need a new prince bring in some boys and let's have them do like a Hunger Games sort of competition to see who could be a fake prince shenanigans ensue and it's more like a borderline middle grade book but I loved it and even though I read it like two years ago I still remember it being so fast paced and it took me forever to pick up this sequel so I finally have it and I'm really excited to read this and I believe this trilogy just finished up also so that's something to look out for then I got <laughs> you're gonna make fun of me I got the Twilight graphic novel um, my 12 year old self was obsessed with Twilight and I'm just now getting into graphic novels and not so much like series of graphic novels but more lamely just like Clockwork Angel graphic novel, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children graphic novel. Just so I'm not a loser anymore reading graphic novels that are already based on other series, can you guys give me some recommendations for other graphic novels that aren't lame like Twilight? And then while we were there, Margot was like, um, I want to buy you a book for your birthday. And I was like, ah. After some bantering, I finally just shoved this in her hands. I got The Road by Cormac McCarthy. And this book is obviously now a motion, motion major picture. <laughs> That's how you say it. And I haven't seen the movie or anything like that. But however, I did get to read a sample-ish portion of this for creative writing. We did a little bit of writing about this. We did some like post-apocalyptic writing and it was done in the writing style of this book which is very reminiscent of Shatter Me with its like stream of consciousness and like really jagged sentences so I think that's why I'm gonna like this and I think that's why I got a 100 on that assignment. Then on a completely separate day my dad and I ventured to Half Price Books just for fun because we had more coupons and I ended up getting two books. The first one is this is getting worse. Um, volume two of Twilight the graphic novel. Also have read this and we'll talk about it in my wrap up. But then more importantly, I got Lolita by Vladimir Navascarvazana. That name. I really want to read this one because the first thing that Noah Shaw says to Mara Dyer is she's reading Lolita in class, as so, and puts it away and Noah Shaw quotes it to her. So this is really important. So I really want to read this one day just so I can see like Mara Dyer conspiracies maybe. And um, yeah, if Michelle Hodkin likes it, then Whitney likes it. <laughs> and that is everything I believe. We're done for July. Uh, hopefully I will have an even smaller book haul for August. I'm trying to really cut back on book buying because it's getting cray. 
So until next time, um, thank you for watching. Bye bye. It's so hot today. Luke, I am your father. Does he even have a British accent? I haven't seen the Star Wars movies.